Um, and I'm happy to be here. Um, would you like first maybe to say, well, um, this is, I don't know which program you're interested in, and I will let you uh, talk in a minute, but this is a room for, for the, um, we have room for other six graduate um, uh, program. Each program has a room. This is a room for programs that are not, that they don't have other room. So if you are, uh, if you're interested in, mid, uh, this is only for someone who interested in uh, um, a nonprofit management and uh, uh, leadership and also the Bible and the ancient uh, Near East. If you are interested in another um, program, please let me know and I will, let, I will tell you which room you have to go to. Okay, so um, um, let me read that. Uh, okay, if you are interested in smart cities and uh, a smart cities program, this is in room, uh, breakup room uh, number 15, okay? Uh, if you are interested in Israel studies, it is on room uh, uh, number 18. Jewish studies will be in room 10. Um, Islamic and Middle East studies in room 11. And archaeology is in room 12. So if you didn't move, that means you stay here with me and I will be very happy to talk to you. Um, would you let me know how many of you are interested in uh, nonprofit management and how many in Bible studies? Would you? Um... Interesting of uh, uh, um, to study. We also have uh, um, um, you study about organizational development and basic concept of financials of NGOs, um, how to deal with your, um, with organizational change and uh, uh, how to do marketing from, for a nonprofit organization. Uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, you will learn about leadership and the social uh, change in the nonprofit, as I said, before and you have field workshop of getting to know the Israeli um, uh, nonprofit. Also, uh, you said about fundraising and uh, uh, um, uh, volunteer volunteer management and gender and nonprofit uh, planning, budgeting, and control. Uh, in, uh, in nonprofit, and uh, so it's very, very interesting, and uh, I think uh, worthwhile uh, going to. Usually, the the students of this program are very, um, very united. They go up for trips. They go up, uh, uh, you know. Um, at, at the evening, they go out to the city. They have, uh, they meet. They uh, very involved. So, uh, and we also have. Uh, uh, we're starting now the alumni. So you have, we have many alumni of the program that you can speak with. You can ask, and uh, um, and uh, um, this is important to speak to someone who's been through this uh, program. Uh, uh, before uh, about housing, um, you are you can as as uh, it was said before, uh, you can uh, rent an apartment in Jerusalem, of course, or a room in an apartment, but also uh, go and uh, and uh, live in the student village. Um, the student village is right next to the campus, the Mount Scopus campus. Uh, so it's gated, like a gated community of students, and uh, you have your own room and uh, in an apartment without other students, of course, which is very nice because they have their 
many activities uh, for the students. Um, we have scholarship uh, for uh, either on the basis of needs or, or uh, um, a merit scholarship. And you can always write to us um, and we will send you an uh, email with links to the uh, programs and to registration. Uh, you can see in our website, there is a graduate unit and a graduate program. If you go to graduate program, you can find anything and everything about, about this program. So now I want just to shift a little bit and speak about the, um, the uh, uh, Bible and the uh, ancients in the Near East. This is a very serious program. It's one of the best, not only at the Hebrew University, but also the worldwide. It's a, a student which I think at least 50% of our student goes to PhD and have academic career. Uh, it's a very, very, it's known as a, a wonderful program. And uh, I think, um, and you can speak to our uh, alumni, as you heard, there was a, 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 a student that spoke after, you know, in the, in the central room, was one of the students uh, uh, in, uh, in this program. Um, okay, so um, um, let me tell you that the MA program, also you have to study for uh, 36 credits, but it's on uh, um, two years level, four semesters, two years. Uh, so it will be easier because you also have to study um, languages. You study uh, languages of uh, a biblical Hebrew, you study Akkadian, uh, and uh, of course you can choose to study modern Hebrew, but uh, uh, it's not required. Uh, so uh, it's optional, uh, it's optional language. And uh, you study, uh, I think it's wonderful to study about Bible uh, here in the land of the Bible. Uh, every step here in Jerusalem, and of course also in this country is you, you step where prophets have been uh, you know, stepped before. Um, uh, you see the view where uh, people from the Bible uh, days uh, uh, looked at, uh, and uh, it's kind of really, you look at archeology, span you go to archeology uh, uh, places and you see the, the, the archeology span there. And I think uh, you can gain so much, uh, so much more from this program. We have topics about archaeology in the biblical times. We have archaeology in ancient Israel. We have at least two courses which based only on uh, uh, study tours uh, in Israel, in Jerusalem and in Israel to archaeology sites, which is very um, important. And of course, you uh, study about the uh, classical prophecy. Uh, uh, you have uh, uh, selected the topics in uh, biblical law, uh, reading medieval Jewish. Uh, 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 um, we have the New Testament, uh, the the Sea Scrolls, and the Battle of the, of the Bible. Most, uh, by the way, um, the program is divided for historical, for textical, uh, textual, and, uh, you know, um, 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 parts. And uh, some of the classes, some of the courses you can choose from the faculty, not even here, but we open the faculty of humanity to you. And uh, 
and you can go there and take courses in uh, English, or if you're speaking also a little Hebrew, you can study there. So um, I just want to do some stop here to break my speech. And if you have some question, this is the time to ask. Um, I have a question. Just on the last point you made. Who's, who's what, speaking? I don't see. Oh, it. this is Shelby. Shelby, OK. We don't see uh, um, Shelby. So oh, let me see if I can turn back. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in the last point that you made, um, just could you explain it a bit further what you mean by going to different faculty members? Sorry, about the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You can take also courses beside the courses here in the program at the Rothberg International School. You can take some courses. There are required courses, you know, and they're elected courses. And in elected courses, there are uh, some courses that you can take in the humanity uh, in faculty and uh, which are, you know, uh, um, part of, of, of the Bible or the near and, and the ancient uh, East. Yeah. Anyone? Hey, it's Noah. Can I ask something about the NGO? Right, sure. Um, it's kind of hard to, you know, to formulate what I want to ask. Uh, I'm looking for a program that would be more hard skill based rather than soft skill based, you understand what I mean? Like I have experience in working and volunteering in different NGOs. And now I just want to come and learn everything like structured and deep and serious and like not one-on-one level. What do you think about it? I think most of the students that come here come with a background of uh, working or volunteering in the NGOs. And they want, to, they're looking for the, theoretical part, theoretical background, you know, but also for involving uh, with other students who's been there with the uh, teachers who are um, very professional from academic way, but also uh, know what is to go to the field and work there and they can combine it. It's a, I think it's a unique program. I, I don't know if there is a program like this, not only in Israel, but also in Europe. And uh, we are getting students from all over the world. So it's very interesting to be part of the student of the students, but also to study. It's a very, it's serious program, but also have, it's not just theoretical. It's also have a touch to the field which is very important to most students, you know? So it's not apart from the field. It's taking, you know, everything that you've been through the field, but giving them theoretical basis. And, uh, and the, I hope I answered your questions. Yeah, sure you did. Um, could you tell me one more thing? Will we have any sort of internship no, no, because of Corona, we stopped with internship. It was, uh, we didn't want to put our students in danger. I don't know what will be, you know, next year. We don't know how it's going to shift, so no, but we have a workshop. In, work, in the workshop that we have, you have to get in touch with NGOs, with nonprofit organization. You have to design, is something for them with a program or a project. You have to work with them very closely. So it's doing the same as was the internship for the, in the um, um, being in touch, you know, uh, uh, with the nonprofit, but it also give you one, the ability to be, to be uh, in touch uh, with the, the people that work in NGOs, and second, to try to develop something in a field that you will choose, in an mm -hmm. NGO that you will choose, you know, something new, something that changes it. 
and uh, then you have to present it to present it to the class you do that usually i go there some of the words are amazing really because it's you know fresh thinking sometimes you have to 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 bring someone young that they're you know that not afraid to change not afraid to um and doesn't hesitate and uh, to give you so uh by the way we have one of our students uh, i think a few years ago she uh, her um her project was to um working in uh, involving her with the um place where they gave uh, hot meals to uh, poor people, to the needs, you know. And uh, she did a program on that, and she kind of, uh, she was there, she was, she, she become involved. Today, she's the CEO of this, uh, of, of, of this. So, you know, sometimes you never know, you start somewhere and you get there and most of our students, which we we do keep in touch with them, uh, work in NGOs and the nonprofit world. Right. Thank you very much. And is there any focus in this program? Like, I mean, the NGOs can be of a very different kind, like sustainable development or cultural or, I don't know, focus towards kids like UNICEF, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Like, a, is there a focus or can we choose a focus for ourselves or it's more like a broad a program? You can choose for yourself. Yes, you have to be something that you're passionate about it. And uh, we will help you to get in touch with the, with the organization. If you don't have the connection, you know, we can uh, help with this. But of course, you can uh, choose any of the, of the subjects that you just mentioned. But they're going to be courses that are not mandatory, right? That I can choose between, like, the first or the second course. Right. There are optional courses which you... There are required courses and optional courses which you can choose, yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anyone? I have another question about yeah. the Bible program, this is Shelby. Um, could you just speak a little bit more about the other kinds of students who will be in the program? Okay, well, I don't know yet who will be in the program, of course, because we are uh, going now through the process of uh, admission, but um, usually we get students from all over the world. Um, um, I think what well, we're getting, we have, I'll talk about today, okay, uh, uh, this year. We have students from the United States, we have from Europe, from, we have from China, from Korea. I think we have also from Hong Kong, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, who else? Um, so it's really worldwide. It's it's. I think we have, you know. Um, I think really, it's not just one country um, um, program. It's worldwide. Everyone who uh, meets our requirement uh, requirements can uh, can apply to the program and we can learn. Uh, the head of the program is a wonderful lady, very professional, Professor Nili, uh, which is, uh, she is uh, Professor Nili Vazana, and uh, very helpful to the students. Uh, you have the teachers. Uh, I think someone mentioned that before, and that this is also for uh, the NGOs uh, program. Um, it's different. It's not just a big university, which is Hebrew University, of course, uh, uh, one of the, the top uh, 80, you know, in the world. But it's not that you go to the big university and you get lost. You come here to the Rothberg International School at the Hebrew University, and you come to the program. And um, we don't accept to this program much more than, you know, there are 
uh, we accept the, the, the best student. And uh, it's like a family. We have the office here of the graduate unit, which you can come every time, every day, almost any hour. I can tell you that I got, uh, you know, some of the calls and the, and the uh, WhatsApp or, or the emails really in a strange hours. We never say no. We try to help as much. We help with the visa to come here, to extend the visa if you need to stay. Um, and anything you need, the, the teachers are very, very, um, just like a family, you know, so they're very open. For example, the teachers of Akkadian, he has, you know, Akkadian is like a, a language which I don't know if so many people uh, speak or, uh, or, or, or study, but he's a wonderful and he makes it like so easy and so wonderful. Uh, I've been in one of the uh, classes, just wanted to know how is it? What is a canyon, you know? So if I speak, so I know to tell people and it's, it's, it's really interesting. For one, for one side, it's very serious, very, very academic. The other thing is very warm and, and, and helping and assisting the students. So uh, this is the way it is here. Yeah, thank you. That really answered my question. I know it kind of brains is a bit complex, but I just wanted to know the, the environment or diversity and size. I think the environment is also because it's a, a international school. So everyone here came from a different part of the world. So uh, it's like a meeting place and it's very important. I think that everyone will feel that this is uh, the place for him or for her. And uh, so we have the, from the cafeteria to the instructors, to the uh, advisors, to the um, admi administrators, everyone here are focused on how to help the students and how to make it for you um, easier and convenient and uh, enjoyable because I believe that studies have to be enjoyable as well, not just hard, not just, uh, you know, but uh, you have to gain, coming to Israel is not easy, I know. It's a tough decision, especially these days. But so if you come here, you, it's not only the study is important, but you have to get have an experience. I want you to have the social experience of, of, of living in this country, of understanding the people, uh, listening to the um, to the languages, uh, finding you know uh, smelling the smell, finding the food, uh, trying testing the food, uh, looking at the views. It's all part of uh, the experience that you will have here. So yes, it's important. The whole experience is important. Study is the first thing, but you have all the others, the tours, the, uh, um, the, tours, the uh, meeting with other students, learning about, uh, for example, uh, if you spoke about the nonprofit, learning about nonprofit in any other places in the world, because maybe they don't, you know, not everything is just like Israel, but we have, we have some of our instructors that came from other places, from uh, Russia, from the United States, from Europe, from Eastern um, countries. So you can study about all this together. And uh, so this is very, I think it's part of the experience. I, I feel that it's important for you to have the whole experience of uh, being here in Israel. I see that Gabrielle and Florian, would you like Tom? Would you like to say some things? I didn't, I don't see you, but I didn't hear you as well. Yes, sir. Hello, I'm Florian from Germany. Um, I'm sorry I cannot switch my camera to mom because it's not working and I have a special question because the lady in the first room sent me here for uh, just a semester abroad study so I want to go from Germany for one semester abroad 
and maybe you can give some more information about the application process. Maybe right. it could be that I missed it at the, at the beginning because I was confused about the room situation, but uh, just how the application is working, what do we need, what do we have to do? Okay. Some kind of this. Right. Florian, you want to come as an exchange student or as a visiting research? Um, as an exchange student, and I applied for our exchange office in Munich here. Oh, great. Okay, so it's no problem because you will be getting to Fatima, which works here uh, for the exchange student. If you leave us your email, I will make sure. Fatima is now in a different uh, room, breakup room, but I will make sure that uh, uh, tomorrow she will uh, write you back and uh, send you all the links uh, to, um, to register. It's not a problem. If you are studying in university that uh, we have an agreement with, no problems at all. But you have to hurry up if you want to come. Do you want to come to the spring semester or next year? Yes, it was the spring semester right now. And I also did some application steps, but I was in the end now confused. And also the lady in Munich could not help. And she sent me to this open day here. So I think I'm a little bit outstanding for my questions right now, but it was just, uh, I thought a try because otherwise I was uh, not right. going well through the application process. I would say. No problems. Just leave me your email and write uh, an exchange student or something from Germany. And I will, uh, we will write you back right away, send you and uh, see where you are exactly in the admission uh, uh, or registration process and help you go through, okay? So we, you can, uh, I hope you will be done by the end of this week. Okay, thanks a lot. I will write my mail and put some information in the chat. Right, great. Thank well, you. You're welcome. And I'm, um, uh, um, Looking forward to seeing you here uh, soon. Gabrielle, if Gabrielle and Tom, would you like Isaac? And um, uh, Tom asked if we could talk a little bit more about the courses in biblical studies. If you could right. talk a little bit. Okay, so, um, okay, I will give you just a test, a taste, not. Um, don't have the whole courses here, but I can tell you that if you go into Rothberg International School uh, uh, website, there is a graduate uh, division there. Graduate, go into graduate division. Graduate division, you have on the first page of the division, you have all seven programs that we have, which uh, uh, the Bible and the ancient Near East is one of them. So click on this program and you will find everything, the catalog, the courses, the uh, what you need in order to register and so on, how much it costs, everything you will have there. But I will I tell you what I have, what I remember. Um, I think I told you that uh, uh, you studied biblical Hebrew and uh, also Akkadian. This is from language uh, uh, parts. You can also study modern Hebrew, but it's not required. The first two are required. Um, you study uh, uh, topics in archaeology. By the way, we have also a program uh, on archaeology in the ancient Near East, but uh, for Bible, you have two courses on archaeology where you go to the field, you, um, you have the um, uh, study tours, uh, archaeology in Jerusalem uh, uh, in, Bible, uh, 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 in Bible times and also archaeology uh, of ancient Israel. So you go one, of course, you go in Jerusalem and one is all over. Um, the history of the Neo-Assyrian Empire. Um, uh, so uh, 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 there is another course, uh, selected the uh, topics in uh, biblical law. Uh, and also uh, we have a course in the beginning 
which is Genesis uh, 1 to 11. Um, um, reading in classical prophecy is another course and uh, reading in medieval Jewish uh, exegesis is also one. Um, uh, so um, Dead Sea Scroll, one of the experts of the Dead Sea Scroll is giving this uh, uh, course and you also go to see it. You can see there is a, you know, so it's a, a, it's in the Israeli museum, so you can go and see it, but it's, it's a, I think it's, it's exciting to study this from someone who was involved in the, um, in the, in the, in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Uh, also, um, we have the, a battle of the over the Bible, the Bible in the uh, eyes of uh, Jews, Christian, and Muslims, uh, uh, and so on. Um, also, we have a course on the New Testament. So uh, um, this is what I can uh, uh, remember. But uh, uh, as I said, you can find everything else in the in the in our website or just send me an is send a, write in the chat now uh, an email your email write that you're interested in the uh, uh, bible and the ancient near east and we will get back to you with all the information and that goes to all of you you can just write please write your name your email and what you are interested in, doesn't matter if it's one program or few, if it's not a pro program, it's just a semester, whatever you are interested in, we will be very happy to, uh, uh, to contact you as soon as possible, uh, hopefully by tomorrow. So we will send you uh, all the information, we will send you links to the program that you're interested in, we will send you links to the um, um, uh, to registration, to the scholarship, to everything you need to know. Shreen, anything? No, just to add on what you said. Yeah, all of you guys, just feel free to send me your emails and whatever program you guys are interested in, and I will take care of uh, sending you all the information you need. All right. There are two here that I didn't... I will be very happy to hear you, uh, Tom and Isaac Paul, um, if you are here with us. Uh, and if you're interested in one of the program, we would love to hear about it, if you are willing. Well, our, uh, I see there is a, a, there was a question about thesis. So, um, no, our program are not thesis, doesn't include thesis. It's not research program, a, a master, but if you want to continue to thesis, you can. There is a, a optional, you can do it. You are uh, being your advisor, and the academic heads of the program would uh, love to help you uh, find a mentor and find uh, an advisor for your uh, thesis. And uh, of course you can do it. Anyone else? Now, Ma, we have a new student here. Bin yeah. right. Young being one, are you with us? Right, what program are you interested in? Well, I can't hear, but I don't even see if you wrote something. So uh, we will be very happy to answer all of your questions because you just join us after we spoke about the two um, 
programs that we are uh, presenting here and also about the exchange uh, uh, program. So, um, Oh, hello. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, oh, hello. yes. Uh, oh, where are I you would contacting ask... us? Where are you contacting us from? Oh, uh, I'm from South Korea. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. to South Korea. <laughs> yes. Oh, I would like to apply for the MA in Islamic and Middle Eastern Studies. But uh, in my country, there is not so much information for that course or in, for the Hebrew University. So uh, I was wondering that, do I need to attend the uh, non-degree programs such as Arabic studies before I apply for the main course? Or can I just straightly apply okay. for the course? Right. Uh, let me first say that you can hear about the Islamic and Middle Eastern studies in room number, breakup room number 11. So you can go there and you have the uh, academic head of the program and someone there from my office to answer all your questions. I will just say that, uh, well, I know the program uh, that uh, you have to study Arabic while, uh, of course, while, while you study uh, Islamic and Middle Eastern uh, studies, uh, but you have to come in a certain level and if you're, you, you never, you never study uh, Arabic before, you can study in uh, the summer. Uh, you will have in the summers, I think September, August or September, you will have to come earlier and to study here the Arabic, the first level, you know, for beginners, and then you continue your study during the year with all the rest of the students. Uh, so maybe I could study Arabic in Korea. So does it uh, really help for applying for the course? Sure, because as much as you study, you will have to take a Arabic test, okay, um, to just to measure your level. So either if you study before, either you will not have to take the summer um, course, okay, the beginning course of Arabic, or you will go to higher uh, upper level. So um, this is also an opportunity. But if you want to know exactly, I can tell you, I, I see that we have to leave now. Um, yes. Just uh, write in the chat right now, write the, uh, your email and that you're interested in the uh, Islamic and Middle Eastern study and we will send you all the materials. Oh, thank you. Thank you and so just much. Just write that answer. you are to IME uh, program, okay? Yes, oh, thank I you. Know. Okay. Okay. Uh, Shiri, do you think this is the, the cue for us to leave? Yes, we can leave. So we have to leave the breakup room now? Yes, in 10 seconds, yes. Okay. So everyone, it was a pleasure. And I hope to see you all uh, next year in Jerusalem as well.